this process? Acrylic pour art. This is acrylic pour art. And it's my first time. Normally my paintings take about two hours, maybe four hours. Just really depends <laughs> how, how inspired I want to be. But this painting is going to take 10 minutes or less. And it's going to turn out amazing. I'm hoping. That's the plan. So there's a lot of prep work involved, which we can go into detail about. But at this time, we're just going to show you the concept. Slab some white down on there. Drip it over the edges. I think anybody would like this kind of art. Just kids would like it. It's so messy. Moms would like to go to a studio to do it so it's not messy in their kitchen, but we can help you with that too here shortly. Just getting all of our ducks in a row, learning about all those ideas. Gloves are probably a good idea. You can even just spread it with your hands gloves if you want. And lots of paper towel. Yes, lots of paper towel and gloves. <laughs> so the fun thing about this is it has a special product in it that makes the paint bubble up. It's already doing it. It's like ready. Alright. I just, I just like to touch it. It feels pretty. So the product that we the, use... You mix the paint with the flow trawl. Gotta have the flow trawl. And then you take the darkest color because you want it to have the most definition on the edges. So then you, after the white's done, you pour in the paint and then those are called silicone and coconut. Coconut milk hair serum. It's that song, you gotta <laughs> put the lime in the coconut and mix it all up. <laughs> We're just putting a wave in the coconut. All right, so next is going to be some periwinkle, and this periwinkle is special because it has sparkles in it. A little um, touch of sparkle. That is something I am a very strong believer in. So, we're going to have some emerald green and some more glitter. This looks like sea foam or something. I'm pretending my wave's coming from Hawaii. Bethany Hamilton would like to surf on this wave. She has one of my paintings in her house. That's one of my claims to fame. Very special. It is special. It was like kind of a dream that I had as I was painting it. I didn't really think it would happen, but it did. It's really one of those God moments that I'll always remember. Something I like to do with my paintings is once they're done, I like to trim the edges with a Bible verse that kind of corresponds with what the painting does. Like I did a, a sheep in Jesus' arms, and then I looked up Bible verses about a shepherd and his sheep, and it just kind of makes it give it a little more sentimental effect to the idea because everything we do is God's art. He's the best artist in the world, in the universe. I feel like I'm getting a lot of green. Oh, I forgot about that That's one. the glue in the dark blue. We gotta have some glue in the dark blue. Woohoo! This is so much fun. It's like, almost like you're mixing ketchup and mustard and a little <laughs> bit of... <laughs> I don't know. I've never done this kind of thing before. That's why I wanted to video it, because it's like a whole new way of painting. Does this one have glue in the dark too? No, it's just um, it's just a pretty teal. Kind of like metallic teal. Ooh, metallic. That's something I learned to paint with early 
down and I love it because it makes everything um, like whenever your paint has a like light you know it just kind of plays off the light so you can see as I'm doing this that all of those special silicones and floetrol that's a new word um, they just play with all the way the paint mixes together so you could leave it like this and it looks pretty cool and it's just going to keep going or you can start blending it with paper towel or a little skate. I would put a gavel. little white. Oh, I forgot we here. can put white in there. Yeah. I think I, I have poured all my white. And I have a little bit. Can make like right more. here? Yeah. So it's foamy. So we got to have the foam. Two little boys in the background, they're watching us. I think they're going to want to do one here in a minute. Can <laughs> you <video> painting? <laughs> Possibly. Maybe. Possibly. No. But you're, you're, you're still thinking about it? I've already made one. It turned out cool. Oh, I'm sure that you did because your mommy can't, can't watch what she does and not be inspired, that's for sure. I feel like I want to put white there because it got a little drip of something. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll make you some more white in case you need it. Okay. okay. It's almost like we're in the kitchen of art right here. <laughs> we are in the kitchen, so it doesn't make sense. Okay, now we're going to do oh, the swipe. The swiping. It's like uh, on Dora the Explorer Swiper. such a different feel. I'm used to paint feeling um, non textury This paint has almost like that gel feeling, which is super cool. I actually saw one of these at a girlfriend of mine's house the other day. And immediately when she told me she did it, because it looked like very professional art. Um, I called Maria and she's like, yeah, I've done one like that before. And the one she did, it's take your breath away beautiful. So, I'm trying to recreate some of the ones I've seen. That's my first time, so I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> this off. okay. Oh, you gotta, otherwise it'll mix you it don't together. Make mud. Yeah. yeah. Well, here. Mom. No, just like do it all in one motion. Like just go from here and go all the way across. Oh, all the way across? Yeah. <sighs> it's okay. Okay, yeah. I know. It's just like so exciting. Do I go off the edge? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you keep Not cleaning easy. it so it doesn't mix all up. Yeah, you gotta keep going. You can't stop. Okay. You go back. <laughs> all right. It's like a typewriter. One side to the other side. And do you go up now? Mm-hmm. Go in your wave shape. Okay. And then we're like here, or start all the way over again. Yeah, I think so. We're just two girls from Melbourne who love art, and we are born and raised here. And there's not that many exciting things to do in Melbourne, so we've really gotten passionate about our art in the last few years. <laughs> and we are excited to do it together. Okay, here we go. We're going to go on a skateboard ramp. Can I start here, or do I have to go back? I have other knives if, if, if that one's like not the right angle. Oh, do you I think don't that know. would be easier? I don't know. Oh, no, going around the mountain. Maybe I should go this way. I'm going to do that too. Yeah. Now yours is like almost crashing on itself. It's so cool. I don't know if you can see yours in the video. Oh, I really put a lot of paint on here. It takes a few days That's to dry, so it's one of those things where you have to 
be a little patient with it. I know when we, we painted once, my kids and I, with uh, oil, and we weren't very patient with it, and we kept touching it because we were used to acrylic, and my whole house ended up having the color of the oil <laughs> paintings because they'd keep touching it and walk away, touch it. They just want to see if it was dry, and we didn't do any more oil after that. <laughs> it's too messy, but I like acrylic usually. Is that what you're putting with all this silicone, is acrylic paint? Yeah, acrylic. It's called acrylic pour. Acrylic pour. Oh, what did I do here? torch in it and it makes the, the cells come out. Oh. I, see, putting a torch on it, that adds an extra dimension of fun. I've never even known <laughs> about that. I don't really notice that it changes a lot, but... Well, you know, it's just neat when you can add a torch. Something. ...about those little drips, but it might be cool. I'm going to just try some. You can always fix it if you don't like it. Just put some white okay. over it. But wave splash. Wave splash. They're not, you know, they're not totally... <laughs> a little bit more splash. Okay. So, I guess we'll reconvene. Let you see it when it's fully finished. And we're going to have two waves that are making a big splash here soon. Is it okay if I touch it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be my honor. Mm -hmm. So the white is the one you don't mix the silicone with, no. but all the other ones you do. Should we do any on this edge? <laughs> well, I just feel like it's not going to be something I want to look at forever. Mm -hmm. oh, proven. It's like it helps you heal faster. Extra fine glitter. Yeah. Secret ingredient. Oh my gosh, I can think of a lot of people that would love this process. Just not liking those. What do you think, Ricky? Do you like good. it? Yeah. All my favorite colors. And I'm Ricky, by the way. My mom is not Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> That's what people call my mom in the comments. Oh, I have never called your mom Ricky in all my years. <laughs> Did I do that earlier? <laughs> uh, I think that is one of my favorite parts is adding the glitter to it. That makes it for sure. Yeah. Dark blue glitter, silver glitter, whatever you color glitter you could ever want. <laughs> well, that is a happy thing. I think I'm going to just try this. It not, might not be a good idea. No. Well, I have more white, so just scrape it all off. Just scrape it and I'll put more white. Okay. 
So you can just scrape yeah, it. Yeah. That is so cool. Some you people just keep working with some it. Some people until you when, like it. when they hate how it came out, they just scrape it off and throw it over. Wow. <laughs> yeah, a customer of mine was telling me about this process, and oh, I just thought it was so fascinating. Then I saw Maria's work, and I said, I better try that. It's super easy. But it's like relaxing too, you know? But a lot of people, that, this is such a fast paced world, they don't have a four hours to sit and paint. So this gives them some instant gratification. Very therapeutic for me. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think if people knew they could make something beautiful, more people would paint. They just start too afraid, you know? Don't know. You just got to do it. Yeah. And, I mean, think about all the canvases we've done that we've painted over, you know? It's like, if you don't like it, you just paint over it. And you can go back later after this part dries and add more details. Like some yeah, like the one you showed me. Here. Do a little paintbrush with the foam. Oh, I feel good about that. Okay. Hallelujah. Thank you.